YouTube. This is MTP Flyers, and this is a video response for Jonathan over at TLD Today. I spoke with him this morning, and I did get my MacBook Air 13-inch in via FedEx four days early, I might add. And I was excited to find out that I indeed did have the Samsung 128 SSD installed on it. Uh, and what we'll do is show you right here real quick. We go into the About This Mac, jump into More Information, and with the new line, you're going to go ahead and hit System Report. And you're going to see uh, in the Serial ATA that I indeed do have the Apple SSD Samsung SM128 solid state drive. So I was pretty excited uh, to get that, and I immediately contacted Jonathan and let him know. And he said, hey, go ahead and do me a video response video, and uh, we'll put it up. So before I get to the test here, I kind of want to recap uh, the speeds that Jonathan hit on his video, and I want to thank him for allowing me to use this content in my video. This is his 13-inch MacBook Air 128, and unfortunately, the speeds that he's getting right now or I shouldn't say, fortunately, it's not matching up to what he had on his 11-inch MacBook Air. And as you can see there, his speeds are hitting anywhere from 1... What was that? 150, 160, and uh, that was his write speeds, and his read speeds were hitting around that 208 mark. Again, something that didn't sound quite right to him or sit quite right on his 13-inch uh, as opposed to the 11-inch MacBook Air that he had. And you can see he has the Core i5 1.7 base model, 4 gig. You go to the serial ATA, and in fact, he did have the SSD uh, Toshiba 128C. So that is, in fact, a different version that is uh, in the 13-inch or the 11-inch based upon the one that you had. A little uh, smiley faces there, and sad faces. But back to my test here. Same exact model, same exact uh, setup as I got all the specs. However, as you can see here, significantly faster uh, as he experienced on the 11-inch MacBook Air, I'm experiencing on the 13-inch MacBook Air with the exact same specs. And obviously, after checking it, you know, did have the Samsung version of the SSD, which uh, I was very happy. You know, unfortunately, I feel bad for everyone else who may have purchased this and uh, got the slower Toshiba. Now, as far as how this test works and what it's doing, I'm obviously not experienced enough to know. So if anyone has any idea exactly how something like this works, or uh, maybe we can contact the company that designed the speed test exactly what it's working with, uh, we can get a better idea of what these mean to us. The, the average user, like myself, maybe not everyone who's watching this video, may know better than myself. But to have half the speeds, I would guess, would be a tremendous difference when you're doing certain things uh, on that as far as, you know, saving and, 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 and converting files and um, that would involve saving on the, uh, the, the, the hard drive and uh, accessing it and doing things like that. So that's pretty much it for me. Guys, if you have any comments or questions, please shoot them down below. And I want to thank Jonathan for allowing me again to use this footage. And uh, you guys have a great night, and I'll talk to you later. See ya!